Welcome to the Solon Vanguard channel. Today we go over some of the final leaks of G Booster set 14. So let's start with the greatest controversy. The new Royal Paladin heal trigger is not a Jewel Knight. We already knew this. Jewel Knight fans really wanted this. But then on the flip side, the new Shadow Paladin heal trigger is a Revenger. So whilst I am very happy that it is, because as you know, I do run Revengers and boy, I like my shiny cards as well as the counter charge. And on top of that, it looks absolutely amazing. This does really suck for Jewel Knight fans. It's kind of odd why they would support one clan more than the other. Some people say it's because Bushi was scared. Jewel Knight's rush together with a better late game would be too scary. But come on. Keep in mind that this is the same set where Sherrod gets support that's almost on par with the broken ridiculousness that is Victor. I highly, highly, highly doubt that giving Jewel Knights their heal would have been as big of an impact, if at all. So yeah, the Revenger heal is absolutely beautiful. I'm happy we got it, but it really sucks for Jewel Knight fans. We also saw even more regalia support which is really nice for the fans they're getting this not really a recycle pg but a very consistent way of getting pgs in hand of course also their own heal and a really great g guardian this g guardian sends pieces from drop back to soul and also gets loads of shield for it there's a bunch of other reveals for many clans by the way i'm only going over the ones i think are major because most of these are commons and rares anyway now for dark irregular of course we saw gasti yesterday or so nothing really major to see there i guess there will be some funny interactions since he copies skills but overall really nothing special i actually have a major problem with gasti as a card because from now on bushiroad is forced into designing around this card whenever they feel like supporting dark irregular so they can't ever make something that's too great because then maybe gasti would be too consistent or have some insane interaction like i don't know i i can't really think of things right now but i do realize that this card can mean issues for future support so i assume that they will have to be forced into either banning this card at some point or just designing really shitty support for dark irregulars in not in order to not make this thing busted somehow so i'm actually really sad for that i i think this is the kind of card that really pushes you into a corner and i think it's a bad move even though it's a cool design now for shadow paladin we saw the beautiful revenger heal we also saw a counter charging forerunner i'm not sure if we'll run this over goat sure we have more names of luard but i mean shadow paladin has so many forerunners will that counter charger that's going to be locked or die before grade 3 really help apart from that we also saw shadow paladin's crit i'm not sure what they were thinking a random vanilla crit luard desperately needs Needed that unlock crit if anything that unlock crit wouldn't even have been enough i'd almost dare to say luart won't make a return purely because of its chaos matchup now gear chronicle got their adorable little unflip ztb heal but they also got this shittier grosne whenever a ztb card is called from anywhere but the hand it gets plus 10k but it can only happen once per turn i'm not sure if this 19k attacker will be run it's really nice on visor turns especially along with pony also super potent on dust turns but I just don't know if we want to cut the new 10k, Cruising Boy or Unicorn. I guess the amount of fetching makes it so the deck can run smaller ratios and thus find room for it. We'll have to see. They also got this card which gets plus 1k for each ZTB in your bind zone. Which is again pretty interesting for dust turns. But with Transit Dragon and the Counter Charge Girl along with the new From Drop Zone Stride Fodder. Finding room can get really tough. Finally there is one more pretty cool leak and that is this adorable little creation elemental it is a perfect guard if it's your opponent's vanguard's second attack so this card has value against siegenberg spectral diablo stark blade of mouse gear next victor champ basically any restanding vanguard this card counters them the only question will be which deck can actually afford to take this one deck that immediately comes to mind is grand blue because together with negromora you can always fetch this card from the drop zone but apart from that it'll be interesting to see what creative solutions players come up with to take this or maybe they just won't at all that was it for today if you found this interesting please subscribe to the solemn vanguard channel and click the bell button to stay up to date let me know your thoughts on the cards in the comments down below like the video if you like the video and i will see you soon ciao